Right guys, welcome back again today. Uh, got an interesting one. Uh, got Grant on the channel. Hello guys. All right. Uh, got his lovely little uh, Astra VXR Arctic in. Uh, what we're doing today is basically we're going to be fitting an AirTech intercooler to it and a rear anti roll bar which is there. So basically, uh, if I spin the camera around, sorry guys. Right, basically, uh, I've done a video before with the rear anti roll bar, so I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm, we're going to just put that on anyway. But um, basically, what we're going to do is uh, strip all the uh, front down, take all the lights out, uh, grill off, bumper off, whatnot, um, get it all lined up to get the new intercooler on. And then uh, after we've fitted the intercooler, we're going to do a boost uh, pressure test with the uh, sorry with the trusted boost uh, gauge thing. So yeah, so uh, sorry about this guy. I'm just put this in it, but yeah. So yeah, basically that's all we're going to be doing today is uh, fitting an intercooler. So yeah, hope you'll enjoy it. Hope you uh, get to do one yourselves or whatever and uh yeah let's get it
Right guys, welcome back. Uh, right, show you the stage we're at at the moment. Got all the intercooler on. Let's get a little look there, basically. Right, uh, we had a few little problems because uh, when we got the intercooler, there was no brackets for it. So we've had to make some up. I uh, don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah. That's holding the aircon uh, rad with a the bolt there. Got all the intercooler bolted up, bolted up there as well, as you can see, and the bracket there as well, which is holding this side of the air comrade to the radiator, just to just to support it. Uh, I don't believe in cable ties, so yeah, I've done a little conversion there with a little bracket and uh, made it work. So right, next point is get the hose from the intercooler up to this pipe here and then underneath da -da, right from this pipe going in uh, up there into the turbo basically so right right everything's all done now we're just about to do a little boost uh, leak test quickly i'll just run you through that in a minute but first of all uh just quickly show you on Grant's car now we've got the rear anti-roll bar on there now um, so yeah he's gonna uh, give that a, a little run through and uh, let us know how that is so yeah basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pass the camera over to Grant in a minute he's gonna be my new cameraman for the minute and I'm gonna run you through basically here you go Grant hey Right, so basically what we're going to do is do a little boost leak test on here. Um, just show you basically what we do is after any pipes or pipe work gets done, it's always good to do a little test on it just to see if you get any loot, uh, little leaks anywhere. Uh, it's just put about 10 psi pressure in. And we found a leak. This is right, what we're gonna do is uh, press it up again and find this leak. So somewhere. Do all these as well, but yeah, uh, where the blowing hell was that? Right, okay, so I'm down there, is it? Oh, is there? Nah. Oh, it's this. We found the leak. It's actually coming from the. You probably can't see it too well, but it's coming from the dump valve. So, right, what we're going to do is just quickly uh, change the dump valve and see if that is definitely. But there is. Try and get a good picture for you there. You see the bubbles in there? So every time you push it up. Oh. It's a bit hard to see, I'm sorry guys for the awkwardness. But yeah, you can see the bubbles there. So yeah. Right. So that's why it's always important that whenever you've uh, 
finished doing any kind of pipe work, or any kind of pipe work, any kind of uh, boost issues or anything, always good to uh, give it a boost leak test uh, with one of these. Uh, very easy to make up yourself. Uh, I just used a bit of a uh, two and a half inch exhaust pipe, welded a plate on it, put a valve on it, and yeah, Bob's your uncle, there you go. Um, yeah, they really do help out and they find out a lot of stuff in the future when you're doing things. Uh, so yeah, if you have a change in one of these pipes or hoses or any kind of like pipes, you can uh, get on top of it. So right, we're gonna quickly change that over, see if that cures it and then uh, get back to you. Right, see you all soon. Found another leak. Uh, I'll just put those. Sorry guys, you probably won't be able to see too much at the moment, but battery's gone on the torch. Back up. Right. Uh, let me just sort the light out, guys. Sorry. Right, guys, this is the uh, pipe here. As you can see, I uh, don't know what someone was thinking of, but they put a cable tie which is actually holding the bottom of the hose off and causing it to leak, as you can see. Um, yeah, I don't know why someone's done that, but yeah, it's actually caused a problem and corrected it. So right, we're gonna finish on that, sort that one out and get back to you in a minute, guys. So that's it for today for Grant's one. Done all the intercooler and that now. Everything's all done, boost leak test, everything's okay, no more leaks. We are deleting the dump valve out of it, um, getting rid of that, putting a bit of straight pipe in, um, get all these boosts um, back to him, basically. Uh, we did find that other problem with the other pipe where someone, don't know why they done it, cable tied it to the plug, uh, which was pulling the actual hose off of the um, sensor, basically, and causing it to leak. So that was the other leak we had as well. Um, that's another reason why I don't really like cable ties and all that lot, they're just more of a hindrance than anything. Uh, they're alright for strapping up wires and neatly tidying things, but to hold things out of the way like that, that's just absolutely pointless. I uh, can't see why someone's done that, basically. But yeah, it's caused more of an issue than cured an issue, so to speak. So, um, yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. Let us know in the comment section what you think uh, about the boost leak test and all that lot. And, uh, yeah, let us know your, your thoughts, really, guys. Um, and hope you all enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. See you all soon.